Hello everyone and welcome to this next quest in the Elder Scrolls Online. It took me a little bit but I have found the next spot for this next quest and uh, with help from the zone guide for East March I have found my way here to Prince Edscar. So let's see what he has in store for me today. Well met my friend. How fast is Gold King? My father is still weak from the poison, but he's recovering. I'm organizing things while he gets his strength back. I need to regain the confidence of our Dark Elf and Argonian allies. My regrettable actions at Fort Armor have made them wary. How can I help? Speak to the highest ranking pact leader in the camp. General Yeveth Noramil of the Dark Elves and Eyes of Steel of the Argonians. See what we can do to demonstrate the strength of the pact. Right away, Prince Hudskar. Making amends. Let's get the quest up. We've got to go talk to one of them. They're both this way, so... Okay, we'll find one and talk to them. Oh, I found one! Wars come and wars go, but the hist endures. Prince Hensko asked me to speak to you. War approaches like a storm on the wind. And the prince needs our help. Why should I trust him or his champion? Perhaps some discourse will show me the measure of Ernsgar's advocate. Does war make a person stronger? That depends on whether the war is won or lost. An obvious answer. Another question. Which serves best in time of war? A strong will or a strong body? Without courage and commitment, a soldier is useless. A thoughtful response. I do worry that Prince Ernskar's insular thinking is dangerous and goes against the edicts that formed the pact. The prince has learned from his mistakes. He nearly lost his father. An interesting outlook. Learn by losing. I think the storm-faced commander, Hal Bitterblade, might learn by losing something as well. His head, for example. At least his troops would learn a lesson to fear the Ebonheart Pact. I'll bring you Bitterblade's head. Okay, so we've got to go talk to the other one now. And then I guess we've got to go and uh, do the tasks that we're promising. Well, don't just stand there staring at me. I'm very busy. And I don't have time to play seven questions. Prince and Scar asked me to speak with you. Running errands for the princeling, are you? And I'm not your first. My aides tell me you went to see the lizard before coming to me. I suppose Ernskar wants to affirm his commitment to the pact. Wants to drink vile mead and discuss strategy. The prince made mistakes. Now he wants to reassure his ally allies. Talk means nothing. The blood contract, on the other hand, is binding. Use my dagger. Vipers strike on any storm fists you slay. The blood it absorbs powers its enchantment. Bring it back when the dagger is fully charged. It absorbs blood? To charge its enchantment, yes. If that makes you or the princeling squeamish, however, I perfectly understand. Not at all. Okay, so we have to uh, check the map. 
Okay, yep. We're going through the gate. We are going to use a sword or a dagger on five Stormfist to charge it. And we're going to get someone's head. I, I kind of feel like the Argonians one is more squeamish, but, you know, it's a war. Oh, I see dead people already. What a novel setting. Might want to come back here someday. Why? Oh, a bit late. Uh, I got one. Uh, I got two. Excellent. That's two. We got two, three more over here. Okay, that means that we can, in fact, charge his weapon because we kill them first. And then grab their uh, blood for the weapon. Although we lost one already. One of the uh, oh, two of the bodies have disappeared. Oh man, we gotta go kill someone else. Okay. More must die. And make sure I get it. Thank you. And now we must go get someone's head. Where is this someone for their head? Um, get Bitter Blade's head. Yeah, but where? Oh, I found a backpack. I'm finding savages. I would say that the head is, uh, Right there. There is the head. The first king and his throne allies can throw challenges at me as often as they want. I saw Andre killing them. And as he finished that, he was dead. I love the timing. Okay, so now we've got to return the Viper Strike and give the head. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, Oh, look at you! Aren't you a cutie patootie? I don't know, I keep saying that, like, I know for a fact that a certain person that, that, that I heard that from and copy saying that is never going to watch or hear me say that. Uh, okay, my game seems to be a little glitchy today, but my internet seems to have been a little bit glitchy all day. We are going to drop off the dagger first, just carry the head around for a bit longer. Alert the heralds! 
Dunskar's errant runner has returned. I charged Vipe and strike for you. So you have. I'd applaud, but killing a few Stormfists isn't really that significant of an accomplishment. However, your efforts on behalf of the Princeling prove that he does wish to make amends for his idiotic behavior at Fort Armel. It would probably help if you stopped calling him Princeling. <laughs> yes, true. But that's not as much fun. Oh, very well. I shall work with Prince Ernskar. We shall benefit from my considerable knowledge and expertise. Thank you. For me. I defeated the Stormfest commander. And I see that you brought me his head. Bitterblade was a worthy foe, and your efforts on behalf of Prince Ernskar have improved my opinion of him considerably. I shall confer with the prince and offer my counsel as needed. Thank you. I mean, that soldier's always going to be sleeping on that cot. Um, or fold that bed, camp bed, whatever you want to call it, wherever you live in the world. See, I, I know it's called cot in the States, but in Australia and England, a cot is an infant bed. So it does get a little bit confusing in my head. Okay, let's let's talk to uh, Prince Ernscar. Well met, my friend. I completed the task for the Argonian and Dark Elf leaders. I received word that General Yevet Noramil and Eyes of Steel will meet with me. I'll show them the respect they deserve and work to strengthen our alliance. Once again, your aid advances our cause. You have my gratitude. And that is the end of that quest. If you made it this far and enjoyed the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. Feel free to leave a comment as I do read each and every single one. I hope you're having a wonderful time soon wherever you are in the world. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.